to Scotland then, where rescue teams are at the scene of that serious helicopter crash. It happened last night when a police helicopter crashed into the roof of a busy pub in the city centre. We know that one person has died and 32 are in hospital. Police and fire crews work through the night to help rescue anyone feared trapped in the building. In a minute, we'll get the latest from Martin, who's in Glasgow. But first, a look back at the night. As dawn broke, firefighters here in Glasgow continued their desperate mission to rescue people from the wreckage and make the building safe. Last night, a police helicopter crashed into the roof of a packed pub in the city. Scotland's First Minister, Alex Salmond, called it a black day for Glasgow. I think all of us have seen uh, over the last few hours the, the speed and effectiveness uh, of the mobilisation of the emergency services in dealing with this tragedy. Here you can see the wreckage of the dark blue helicopter with a yellow police sign lying on the pub's roof. More than a hundred people were inside watching a band. At first I thought uh, the speakers had possibly blown uh, but then I looked around and this uh, cloud of dust suddenly took over the whole pub. That's when I realised things were serious. It didn't take long for emergency crews to arrive. They were there in minutes, helping bring injured people out of the building. Now their main focus is making sure the building is secure, but it's feared their work could take a long time. An investigation will try and work out how this tragedy could have happened. It's not known why the helicopter came down. Two police officers and a pilot were on board. Martin is in Glasgow for Newsround. He's been telling us the latest. Aisha, I'm about 200 yards from the Clutha Park, where at around half past ten last night, a helicopter crashed through the roof. Now, it's impossible to get any closer. Police have cordoned off a massive part of the city of Glasgow and have lined the streets trying to stop people getting any closer to the scene. Now, everywhere you look, you've got emergency services, you've got fire engines everywhere, police cars. Now, this is normally a day where people do their Christmas shopping and it's actually a celebration here in Glasgow because it's St Andrew's Day. But instead of enjoying themselves and getting those Christmas presents in, they're actually trying to come to terms with what's happened here. Thanks, Martin, and we'll keep you updated on this story on Newsround. And if you're upset or worried by anything on the news, there's advice and info on the Newsround website. OK, time for some other news now.